Hello everyone. How y'all doing? How y'all doing out there, man? I'm not doing good. You know, staying safe and just staying alive. So I'm energized. And this video definitely more than the last video. But yeah, I wanna let me get the YouTube formalities out of the way now. If you enjoy my content and you know you been a loyal subscriber to me, please hit that four point play. Uh leaving a like, that means leaving a like, leaving a comment. Clicking that subscribe button and clicking that notification bell. I almost forgot. But yeah. You know, if you're new to my channel, you know, if you're new to my content, like this is your first video you ever, you know, heard from me or something like that. This is your first time coming across my channel. Stay, you know, just stay a while. You, you'll enjoy it, you know, or even if you don't, just, just stay. You know, you never know. You might enjoy one of my later videos or something like that. But just, yeah, hit that full point play for me. Leave a like, leave a comment. You know, if you agree or disagree with what I'm saying, click that subscribe button to become a part of the process. And then, to cap it off, you know, to hit that full point play for me, <laughs> basketball terms, click on that notification bell because I don't have a set schedule for my videos. I just upload when a topic makes me, like, when I feel strongly enough about a topic that I'm able to write down a good amount of notes on it. That's when I upload. Okay, so yeah, yeah let me get into this. So I know that this is gonna be <laughs> a touchy subject because when it comes to this topic in particular, it's like how can I put it? you? I, okay, I think you either on one side or on the other side. Now I don't. I feel like not too many people are in the middle on this topic, but. I could be, and I could be somewhat objective because, pe okay, people are quick <laughs> to call you a sellout if you're black and you don't support black business. But I, I had further thoughts on this. I had to think a little bit harder, a little bit deeper on this, and I'm like, okay, okay, let me get into this. So, okay, so the rapper replies. He said this, okay. This is what I saw and this is what he said, okay? So, dear black business owners, stop wanting me to spend my money with, with you and shop with you just because you're black. Make me want to spend money with you because you got a good product, good customer service, and a good price point. Because if, it's, if, because if that's bad, I don't want it no matter what color you is. You see, if I wrote this, I'm not even going to lie, I would have wrote it a little differently. I edited his grammar in my notes just because, you know, I don't talk like that. I don't write like that, but you know what I mean. But I was getting lost. <laughs> I'm not even going to I had to read it over a few times, but I just have to write it differently down in my notes, okay? But besides that, though, how could you disagree with his words? How could you disagree with what he said? Honestly speaking. And I know black business owners would disagree because they're not objective when it comes to this. It's directly attacking them. It's directly attacking what they do. So it, it would be hard for them to be objective. But And I understand that, though. I understand it's hard to be objective when it comes to certain things that you're personally invested in, you're fully invested in, you know what I mean? Not even just with money, just something that you put in your time and effort into. I understand it would be hard to be objective. It would be hard to take criticism, but sometimes it's needed. They'll have bias when it comes to comments like this, and I understand that. I, I don't I don't even blame them for that, but I could look at this objectively and look at it from both sides because there is kind of two sides to this argument. So the first side is right, and this is regards to anyone that's a that's a business owner, not just to black business owners. But this topic is addressing black business owners, so this is what I'm gonna say. And some of them could be very hypocritical and unreasonable and unrealistic. They'll charge an unreasonable price. <laughs> Their customer service won't be good. And then they'll call you a sellout for now on to shop there. They'll, they'll quickly use that word to try to guilt you into buying their unreasonable ass price product. They'll call you a sellout for now on to shop there. <laughs> and and the, the the next response, or this is probably the first response, they'll be quick to say, but you'll shop at these white stores without a problem. <laughs> okay. And I know you've heard that before. These small black business owners, that's what they do. That's what they say to try to make you feel guilty for not wanting to shop there. 
And hear me out, okay? I understand what they're saying when they say, I understand what they mean when they say that, but I don't think it's all the way true. I don't necessarily, I don't fully agree with that, that logic and what they try to say when they, what, what they mean when they're saying that. Because if it's a small business owner and they're white, they're going to be held to the same standard as that small business owner if he's black. It's going to be the same thing. I'm going to walk in there and expect at least decent customer service. I understand it's hard. I understand it's difficult. You know, it just takes that one customer to ruin your whole perception of what customers are. I was just thinking this earlier. <laughs> it really, like when you, your whole job is to deal with customers, it really takes a few to just ruin everything for you. I get that. And I understand it's difficult. Trust me, I work in retail. I understand. But that's not to say that you could address people the same way and not have good customer service and expect people to want to shop there. This is for white or black business owners. The small business owners, you have, you're have you going to be held at such a standard. Like, we're expecting good all around before you able to build your, bu- build your business. No one is going to recommend you or share your, your product if it's unreasonable. Shit like that, you know? And that's the same thing. Like, I'm not going to, this is me personally, I'm not going to shop there anywhere if I don't like the customer service or if I don't like the prices. And this is something I have to say, too, because this was brought up recently. This was brought up around the time the Popeye's Chicken Sandwich came out. And people was quick to be like, oh, you'll share this, but you won't share your cousin's business or some shit like that. Like, bro, I know damn well these small business owners aren't trying to compare their small shops to these bigger businesses. Like, come on. That's where I would have to draw the line. These and this is something I said too with the Popeyes thing. These big name stores have been around for decades, been been around before we was even born, and they're well established in the industry. So of course people are going to be more willing to shop there. It's logical. It's just, it just makes sense to me. I understand you want to shop small, you know, shop in the neighborhood and shit like that. I get that. I'm not trying to throw no dirt on nobody's hustle or nobody's grind or nothing like that. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying if you're going to be that one to be like, oh, but you'll shop at Louis and buy a hundred dollar shirt. Okay. What the hell is the problem with that? It's brand name. This is going to bring some type of recognition to me. Okay. I know that's very shallow and very dumb of a mindset to have, but still. And I know what type of service I'm going to get from, what, what did I say, Louis? <laughs> a, a Louis store or something like that. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, like, I don't like the mindset people have of, like, oh, but you'll shop at these white stores. It's just logic. It just makes sense. <laughs> if I'm ordering from the store online, I know what the hell I'm going to get. It's going to be a top-notch product. I'm sorry, it's small, these small businesses can't necessarily compare. I'm not saying their product's not going to be good. I ain't saying nothing like that. Don't even try to draw that, that wrong conclusion. I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying, for you to compare your small business to something like Gucci or, or whatever, I don't even think that's even fair. <laughs> your, your small business is not going to last trying to compare to a big name store like Gucci or something like that. These stores have been through every lawsuit made it out pending lawsuits they got the lawyers they got their million dollars invested into private lawyers and shit like that your company i'm sorry your small business don't have that these companies are publicly traded like you could trade you could buy stocks in these companies i'm not even just talking about gucci i'm talking about big big name clothing stores and shit like that big name businesses you could buy stocks in in these companies you know like this is something I know is dumb, but be realistic in your out, outlandish request. <laughs> you know, I know that's, you know, if you really understand that, I know that's the antithesis of what I'm saying. That don't even make sense, literally speaking, but be realistic. Like, come on. I don't know. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm about to go in, but now nah, I'm going to chill. But now to the other side of the argument, okay? I can say that, you know... Technically speaking, I, could, I am building a small business with my YouTube channel. Subscribe <laughs> to become a part of that process. Help me build this business up. And I would, of course, be upset if, you know, people wouldn't want to shop with me 
But I would have to look in the mirror, like, okay, why do these people not want to shop with me? Is my clothes not good? Is my merch not good? Is my customer service bad? Can people get in contact with me if they need to or get in contact with whoever is running, whoever is working with me in my business, something like that? In that regard, okay, I would have to do some deep thinking, like, okay, what's going on? What's going on? Because it's obviously a reason why my business is not doing that good. If it comes to like, I, and this whole video, my whole thing when I say mean small businesses like clothing stores, shit like that. That's the main image I have in my head of a small black business. Maybe I'm charging ridiculous prices. It's it's little things like that. And this has to be said because I know that's the main defense these small black businesses have is oh but you'll shop you'll buy this if it was gucci though so like so <laughs> like i don't understand why people would even say something like that you can't compare your store to gucci louis prada fendi like i'm and none of them i'm sorry you can't i'm not saying your clothes not gonna be nice i'll definitely go and buy one of them shits but Stop trying to say, oh, you but you'll shop at these high, these fat, these brand name stores. Okay, no, it was my money too. You know, and I'm sure there are people out there who would go and support a white business before a black business. I don't like that mindset neither. I'm not saying you should go to Gucci over the black business. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm not trying to say that neither. But if you as a black business owner is gonna say. Oh, but you'll shop at Gucci and Louis and shit like that. I'll be like, okay, whatever. I'll be like, whatever. That's a dumb mindset to have. Get your business up there. Run your business for decades on decades. Leave it for your family and shit like that. And then your company will be able to be compared to Gucci and Louis. You know? The founders of these big name companies probably aren't even alive anymore. It's their children running these companies now. Your small business that you had for three four years i'm sorry <laughs> it's just not even logically making sense to me is it that just has to be said i know people don't like don't want to hear that but it's, it just has to be said just logically speaking make it make sense bro honestly but you know you can't control what people do with their money if they want to go shop at gucci and louis or whatever what can you say just promote your business do what you gotta do and go from there Plies is right. And I know most people would agree with him. Most people should agree with him. <laughs> but as a black person in general, as, as a as a person in general, you shouldn't shop somewhere if you can't afford it. You shouldn't shop shop God. You shouldn't shop somewhere if the customer service isn't good. Black or white. It don't matter. But for black business owner, you out there, anybody out there, if your customer service is not good. And your prices are ridiculous. Don't expect people to shop there. There's people out there who wouldn't even shop at these high names, these brand name stores because of that same reason. So, they, I understand the double standard, but even then, there's some people out there who be like, I, I don't even want to buy no Gucci shit. Because I go in there and they look at me funny. And something like that. And they, they close this too expensive. There's people out there like that too. So it's 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 so it's so deep to this topic though. <laughs> but I'm not gonna, I can't get too much into it because that's a whole probably five more minutes and that that would be too long of a video. <laughs> so yeah, if, if you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Thank you. We're taking this to the top. Milestones are a coming, and I really appreciate all the support I've been getting, all the new subscribers, all of that. I'm gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna be on camera soon, man. I, I think okay, we in February. In the next month or two or something, I'll be having a face cam. So yeah, thank you and more videos coming soon.